even though the nourishing hair oil has 13 different oils in it, the question is, would I recommend it in my professional opinion? And the answer to that is, So today's my wash day and I'll be using the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub along with the hydrating shampoo and the nourishing hair oil. So I'm starting off with the clarifying scalp scrub and following up with the hydrating shampoo. Now being that this 8 ounce bottle of shampoo is $38, I made sure to follow the instructions to a T. It's recommended that you rinse the hair out thoroughly and rub the product in your hand prior to putting it in your hair. They say that that actually activates the product, so that's what I did. The clarifying scalp scrub has four active ingredients. Fermented purple willow bark and its properties gently break down product buildup and nurture the scalp. And the next one is tea tree oil, which I'm very familiar with. It's great for balancing sebum production and addressing scalp issues like psoriasis and dandruff. Microcrystalline cellulose is a physical exfoliant that's naturally derived from wood. And the next one is niacinamide. It's a nutrient-rich vitamin B3 derivative that protects your scalp and hair from environmental damage. I also really appreciate natural scented products and I could smell the tea tree, notes of lemon, peppermint, and rosemary. I also felt a slight tingle as I worked the shampoo into my scalp. And also because I didn't get a lot of lather during this shampoo, I have full intention on repeating the process again. I wanna make sure that my scalp and the root of my logs are squeaky clean. I was pleasantly surprised on how easy the shampoo rinsed out of my locks and off of my scalp. And now I'm ready for round two. Now on this second shampoo, almost immediately after me applying it and rubbing it in, I saw suds. There's just something about having suds in my hair that makes me feel like it's getting clean. Not that the first shampoo didn't do justice, because it did. And even though the shampoo is highly concentrated, like I said, I had gone about a month without shampooing my hair, so getting to the back and making sure all sections were covered required me to use more product. I was really pleased at how easily the exfoliant particles rinse out of my scalp and my locks. My locks are pretty thick, so sometimes when I use scalp scrubs, it takes a while for me to get the product out. Or if I use a highly concentrated shampoo, it seems like I'm rinsing forever. This rinsed out very easily, very clean. My locks felt light, my scalp felt invigorated. Some people are afraid of squeaky clean hair, but there's nothing wrong with getting your hair squeaky clean. What matters is what you do after it. If you're not restoring hydration, then it can be a problem. Clarifying shampoos help to make the products you use after it work better. So now on to step two, the hydration shampoo. Because of my lock density and length, I do have to use a generous amount of the shampoo. Okay, so I have to get into the fragrance. Oh my goodness. Aoud is one of my favorite air fresheners to use at home. So I was ecstatic when I saw that that was one of the fragrances used in this shampoo. Also along with Australian sandalwood, night musk, night blooming jasmine, Haitian vetiver, and violet leaves. It smells wonderful. The hydrating shampoo has a lot of lather as you can see. It also had slip, but assessing slip on my locked hair is a lot different from when it was loose and curly. But I will say that I can feel that the hydration is going into my hair. The four active ingredients are bioactive keratin ferment, which delivers a protein infusion and repairs with healing humectants. There's actually honey in this. And if you haven't checked out my last video, make sure you do. Well, I list five humectants that are great for the spring. The next is their signature African oil blend, which is Boab, Moringa, Black Seed Oil, and these all support elasticity and elevate shine. Catatonic Hydraulic Acid helps to restore and retain a thousand times its weight in water. 
And the fourth active ingredient is phytocollagen complex, a blend of collagen proteins to improve hair elasticity and deliver moisture rich nutrients. I was pleased at how easily it rinsed out. I don't put shampoo on the ends of my hair. Instead, I rely on the shampoo to just run down the shaft and get my ends clean. And now I'm prepping my hair for the final step, which is using the nourishing hair oil to seal in moisture. I love using microfiber towels because they absorb all the excess water so that nothing's dripping and it actually helps the oil to absorb more deeply within the shaft of my locks. I know my locks are ready for the oil once there's no water dripping from them. So now to step three, the nourishing hair oil. As soon as I untwisted the cap, I smelt the Aoud. I love that scent. I use it as a spray in my home. So I was happy to see that that was one of the signature fragrances. It also includes sandalwood, warm musk, night blooming jasmine, Haitian vetiver, and violet leaves. So the four main active ingredients in the oil are the African oil blend I already mentioned, sea buckhorn oil, which is a replenishing ancient remedy rich in fatty acids, antioxidants, and vitamin E, hyssop extract, which is a North African plant rich in antioxidants that support hair health and radiance, and a bioactive keratin ferment. They call this the queen of fortification. It's a fermented blend of lactobacillus, hydrolyzed wool keratin, and honey balances. It reduces breakage, delivers a protein infusion, and repairs with healing humectants. And to learn more about the benefiting properties of humectants, make sure you look at my video, In Your Battle with Dry Hair Using These Five Natural Ingredients. I also show you how to make your own leave-in moisturizing spray. Even though the nourishing hair oil has 13 different oils in it, the question is, would I recommend it in my professional opinion? And the answer to that is absolutely not. And if you want to know the details why, make sure you stay for part three. And stay tuned for part two of my review of the Sacred Hair Care line where I try it on various clients that have different hair textures, lengths, densities, and curl patterns. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.